right, everyone, let's get started with the tutorial for Pop Goes the Weasel. If you didn't see it already, it looks a little something like this. And if you already saw it, then there's the top down view. Um, it's a bit more of an advanced combo, but if you've been on the channel for a while, you'll realize that all these moves that you're seeing are actually moves that I've taught before. So there's a revolution cut, cash drop, a Charlie A cut, um, and then that little last move is kind of the motion that um, inspired the name Pop Goes the Weasel. And so shout out to Amanda, my future sister-in-law, who uh, helped me affirm the name for this move. Um, and with that being said, let's get started. So uh, knowing this, um, we're going to need to do cash drop. You're going to need to know a revolution cut, a Charlier cut, um, and how to hold the how to hold the packets in corner grip. Now, uh, when beginning this, you can do it with two swing cuts. You can do it with a swivel and a swing. It really doesn't matter how you open it, and that can be a little finesse that you add to your own moves. Um, but I will teach you the sequence after that. So uh, let's walk you through it. So what you're going to do is perform the way I do it is two swing cuts just to kind of get about half the deck into your dealer's grip hand. And then with the remaining packet, so about half the deck, I readjust my middle to the top left, my thumb to the bottom right to get into a corner grip. I take my index finger on that top long side and I pull towards myself so that now the face of the packet is facing this wall. I perform a, sh uh, not Charlie, excuse me, a revolution cut in my dealer's grip hand and then perform the move cash drop by dropping a packet into this place. I close this packet with my dealer's grip hand and at the same time I'm doing that in my dominant hand, I'm doing this super cool thing. And this is uh, a little motion that it looks like a, lo a lot is happening, but not a lot is happening at the same time. Um, and it's really fun to do uh, not necessarily with the lighting I have right now, but in the trailer I shot specifically, there's some more dramatic lighting and it looks like it's spinning more than it is because you're seeing like the dark side of the packet and then the light side of the packet and then the dark and the light and the dark and the light and over and over and over and over again. So it's kind of an illusion with how many times the packet spins over. So if we get there, we'll do two swing cuts again, swing and a swivel, however you want to get to half and half to this position, revolution cut in the dealer's grip, Go into the packet hold for cash drop and drop a packet in with your dominant hand. Close this and then what you're going to do is with your index finger on this top short side, so the face should be up towards you right now, you're going to turn it over like this so now it's sideways with the back facing you and you're going to rotate your wrist kind of, or not, I guess for righties you're going to rotate it clockwise, for lefties you're going to rotate it counterclockwise. But you do this roll thing, so imagine that you are uh, spinning your phone or your or a pen or something around your finger and that's kind of the motion you're doing if you haven't seen Zach Mueller's Seattle light or maybe not even Seattle light there's just a card pivot move he teaches where the weight goes forward and you tilt your hand over swing the card forward again tilt it under swing it forward tilt it back swing it under you sometimes do this with your phone when you're playing with it it's harder to do with a card because it's so lightweight very easy to do with a pen or something but it's this motion where you spin out and it's almost just like reversing that because you're going to be in this grip and you're going to be essentially doing this weird thing where you <laughs> it's it's so hard to explain so uh excuse me while i try to do this uh, you're going to tilt your wrist down and push your index finger through and then when you come back up pull your finger back in and so it's going to look like this packet is rotating a whole bunch of times but it's not really it's just kind of an illusion so you tilt underneath towards yourself and push your index finger through. Then when you come back up top and you're scooping, you're gonna go kind of around this way. You're gonna pull your index finger back in. And so it's gonna look like this illusion. Your ring finger also can help you too. I know, I realize that I'm pulling my ring finger in a little bit to get some of that twirl. So the extension with the index finger underneath and then for it to come back, curl the finger in and also pull a little bit with your ring. And so you are scooping going out. This is like a very flourishy part of the flourish, if that makes sense. It's very finesse-like. So it kind of looks like this. And you can practice this over and over and over again just by holding a packet between your middle and your thumb, middle in the top left corner, thumb and bottom right. Switch them if you're uh, lefty, then top, I'm going to have to do this in my head, top right and bottom left. You're going to spin like this. 
And then what happens is in your dom in your dealer script hand, excuse me, you're going to open up a Charlier cut. Now here's the cool part. When you come back in on this rotation with the dominant hand, you pull your ring finger in and curl that, that index finger in, you can kind of lay it so the thumb can kind of slide down here. And if you put maybe a third, a fourth of this top short side right here, uh, let me readjust, oop, I'm dropping cards, like this, you can do a move. I think I've taught this before in uh, reticle. You kind of, you hold the packet like this, you're sort of in biddle grip, uh, or I guess you are in biddle grip. And then what you do is you tilt it upwards, your index finger contacts the back, the thumb is at the top short side, and then what happens is your thumb slides down to meet the other fingers at the bottom, and this packet lays out. You're essentially doing that same thing with uh, a packet after you twirled it a whole bunch of times. Uh, it's really only like once or twice, but then your ring finger is contacting the back, middle fingers at the other side still, index is on the back, then thumb slides down to lay this packet flat, open up a Charlier while you're twirling, and push it in like this. Close the Charlier on top of this, and here's what's super cool. Your middle finger that's still stuck back here, pretty close to this back corner, is just gonna push up, and because of how much of the deck is underneath, the less of the deck underneath, the better you'll be able to push it over. So if you try to put more than half, this is gonna be really hard, and you're gonna either slide the packet under or move the top packet over it. So the best way to get this done is to use as little of this top side as you can to be pinched, and then with your middle finger, it'll flop the rest of the deck over, and that's kind of the pop goes the weasel move. Um, I'll see if I can tilt it up towards the camera while I do this. So it looks like that. So in slow-mo, or just a little walkthrough, because I'll do a slow-mo in a second, it's gonna look like this. Swing cut, swing cut, start to rotate that packet into a cash drop position, and perform a rev cut at the same time. Drop half that packet in, close. While you close that and you're opening up a Charlier, your index finger can come up here to the top short side and start doing one of these spins. And really, if you time this right, you can do this and spin it and lay it down right into the closing Charlier packet. So if I do that in kind of slow-mo, I'll do a rev and drop, and then this will come around and lay down as the Charlier is closing. I just realized that I was talking in slow motion while trying to do the move in slow motion, so that was probably silly to hear. But you can give it a little rev, pack it drop, close that, do your little twirl in your dominant hand to lay down underneath the Charlier, and close it over. And that is Pop Goes the Weasel, or uh, PGW, depending on what you want to call it. Pop Goes the Weasel is kind of a mouthful, so PGW kind of works. And there is the move at speed. And guys, it's super fun. I realized that when people commented on it on Instagram, they, they said it's not super original because it kind of just looks like ATM and a Rev and a Charlier cut. That's okay. It's a combo I made up, and if you want to learn it, great. And if you don't want to learn it, you don't have to watch the video. Uh, so hope you guys enjoy these slow-mos, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.